Hi guys, Corey Davis here, one of your coaches, and I'm trying to get you ready for a high rocks race. The race is eight rounds of a thousand meter run followed by an event. Event number three is the sled pull. There are actually a few different techniques you can use on the sled pull. I'll go from the fastest but most tiring to the slowest but least tiring. The fastest technique is to use a hand over hand pulling technique. This is very fast, but is very tiring or possibly even impossible for you to do. I know many strong people that cannot do this, especially in the context of a long race. To execute, get the sled moving with a few backward steps and then reach forward and pull using big long pulls. Momentum is important here, so make sure your non-working hand is on the rope and beginning to pull before your pulling arm finishes. The second technique and my favorite for most people to use is the squat to row. For the squat to row, you'll bend down, shooting your hips back and your arms forward. From there, you'll aggressively stand up and pull the rope in towards your chest. You get your whole body into this one, and it's not too slow. Finally, there's the walk back technique. If the sleds are just too heavy to move with your upper body, then the walk back is the way to go. Bend down, shoot your hips back and your arms forward, and then begin walking backwards, keeping your hips back so your body weight does as much of the work as possible. This is the slowest technique, but it will work and keep you on pace for a good race. The pacing strategy on the sled pull is simple. Go as fast as you can. If you use a more upper body dominant technique, then it will be more tiring, but your arms are about to get a big break so you can get through it. If you use one of the other techniques, then there are little breaks built into the sled pull. The most important thing on pacing the sled pull is that you keep moving. The sled needs momentum to move and you need it too. During practice workouts, try different techniques and see what works for you. Practice your techniques so that you feel confident for it on race day. Don't be afraid to switch between techniques as the situation dictates. If you like the squat to row technique, but your arms fatigue, transition to a walk back technique and keep the sled moving. You can even start a workout by pulling hand over hand, transition to the squat to row, and finish with the walk back if things get really sideways. But we're going to train you up and have a better plan where that doesn't happen. The appropriate substitution here would depend a little bit on what technique you're using. Gorilla rows would be great for an arm over arm pulling. A cable squat to row would work great for a squat to row technique. Finally, kettlebell deadlifts would work great for someone that's going to rely on their legs in the walk back technique. 